Center. Today's show is all about the most wonderful time of year to be a Floridian, the winter holidays. the History Center's Festival of Reese, delight in the holiday sounds of the Lake Gibson and Frostproof High School choral programs, discover winter offerings from our heritage partners, see a very, very one-of-a-kind tribute to Polk County, and have a special visit from the big man himself, Santa Claus. In preparation for today's program, please have on hand your Zoom of Room packet and a sense of holiday adventure. Everybody ready? We'll go live in three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome to Zoom and Vroom live from the PG TV studio. My name is Jamie Jamison and I am the curator of education and visitor engagement at the Polk County History Center. But more importantly, I transform into your Polk County history and heritage fairy godmother. A little housekeeping before we begin. We expect the program to last approximately 45 minutes. Can't stay with us that long? That's okay. You can catch us on repeat through PGTV's YouTube page or anytime on Facebook. Also, this is going to be our last live program for the year. So make sure to check back in January of 2022 to see what adventures we get into next. Tis the season for holiday trivia. Did you notice our intro changed to a more festive feel? That's because the holidays are here. Now, if you want to impress at your annual ugly Christmas sweater party, here is a free piece of Polk County holiday trivia just for you. James Lord Pierpont, who is best known for writing and composing Jingle Bells in 1857, was living in the newly founded community of Winter Haven before he passed away in 1893. While in Winter Haven, Professor, or sometimes known as Colonel J. Pierpont, served as a news correspondent, a railroad agent, and Justice of the Peace. I think the only thing that can follow that impressive tidbit of history is going to be our friend Dion singing his own ode to Polk County at Christmas time. Take it away, Dion. The holidays are a calling, but the temperature isn't falling. If there's one thing Polk County knows, 
It won't snow, it won't snow, it won't snow Oh, while gifts will be a-getting In Florida we'll be sweating Cause there's one thing that we all know It won't snow, it won't snow, it won't snow When I put on my festive clothes How I'll hate going out in the sun But the weather can't stop my fun and until December is done, I'll spread my Christmas cheer round, giving gifts and singing out loud. Even though we all know it won't snow, it won't snow, it won't snow. Oh, and gifts will be a getting, but in Florida we'll be sweating, hoping someday in Polk. It would snow, it would snow, it would snow, no, it won't snow. Until December is done, until December is done, I'll spread my Christmas cheer round, giving gifts and singing out loud. I'll enjoy the season, although it won't snow, 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 it won't snow. The Festival of Wreaths returns to the Polk County History Center for its 11th annual showing. Wreaths adorn the historic doors and rotunda of the Polk County History Center and are exquisitely decorated by members of our very own Polk community. Bring the entire family out between November 12th and December 16th and enjoy these wonderful works of art that epitomize the warmth of the season. And you know I know because I'm an elf. If you see one you like, visit our website, polkhistorycenter.org, and place a bid to take it home.
year, the Polk County History Center is the host for Florida's most treasured snowbird, Santa Claus. The bounty of Christmas cheer provided by the Festival of Wreaths makes Santa feel right at home as he reviews his list and prepares to file his flight plan. Santa loves Polk County so much that he's even agreed to leave some time open for a meet and greet with his biggest fans. That's right, Selfies with Santa is back. Schedule time for your little ones to have a one-on-one -on -one appointment with the jolly old elf and even snag a selfie while you are here. was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mom and her kerchief and Pa and his cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, Pa sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window he flew like a flash, tore open the shutter and threw up the sash. Now, the moon on the breast of that new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to Pa's wondering eyes should appear but a magnificent sleigh! and eight flying reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, Pa knew in an instant it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles my coursers they came, and I whistled and I shouted and I called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, dash away. Dash away, dash away all. And as dry leaves before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the rooftop, my coursers, they flew with a sleigh full of toys and yours truly too. Then in a twinkling, Paul heard on the roof the prancing and the pawing of each little hoof. As he drew in his head and was turning around, down the chimney I came with a bound. I was dressed all in fur from my head to my foot, and my clothes, they were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bag full of toys I had flung on my back, and I looked like a peddler just opening my pack. My eyes how they twinkled, my dimples how merry, my cheeks were like roses, my nose like a cherry. My droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of my chin was as white as the snow. A stump of a pipe I held tight in my teeth, and the smoke it encircled my head like a wreath. I have a broad face and a little round belly that shakes when I laugh like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> I am chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And Paul laughed when he saw me in spite of himself. But a wink of my eye and a twist of my head soon led him to know he had nothing to dread. I spoke not a word. I went straight to my work. I filled all of those stockings. And then I turned with a jerk and lying a finger aside of my nose and giving a nod up the chimney I rose. 
I sprang to my sleigh, to my team gave a whistle, and away we all flew like the down of a thistle. But Pa heard me exclaim as we flew out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. I think you are ready to zoom out of here and start celebrating the holidays. Be sure to pick up the holiday edition of the tour card or request a PDF copy to be emailed to you. This month's family activities include ornaments to decorate and stickers to celebrate the season. Don't forget to visit polkhistorycenter.org to place a bid on one of the gorgeous wreaths decorated for the Festival of Wreaths between now and December 16th. From all of us at the History Center and PGTV, we wish you a very happy holiday season and look forward to seeing you in the new year. Happy trails! Music